Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to show you how to create a Windows VM through Terraform. Uh, but I wanted to start off by just showing you how to do it manually through the portal. Uh, so let's do that here. So up at the top in the search bar, we're going to type virtual machines. And click create as your virtual machine. You see it brings up a menu here. So we only have one subscription, so that's fine. Uh, but it does ask for a resource group, so we'll just create a new one. Call this Manual Deployment 2. You can see I've done this before. Next, we have to give the virtual machine a name. Manual would be fine. Uh, the region, let's do East US, that's where I am. Availability zone 1 is fine. We don't need any redundancy. And for image, we're going to change it to Windows Server 2019. For the size, we're just going to go with the cheapest one, which is one CPU and one gig of RAM, which is called standard B1S. And then we'll give it a username and a password. After we give it a once over, we can move on to disks. And we're going to change it from premium to standard just to save on cost. And make sure delete with VM is checked uh, so that the disk is deleted if the VM gets deleted. Moving on to networking. No, thank you. Uh, you can see it gives us a VNet name and a default subnet. And it also has a public IP in there. We're going to get rid of that. Uh, just because we don't want to connect to it, just for this example. And if everything else looks good, we'll move on to management. Uh, nothing here to change in management or monitoring, or advanced, or tags. So we will review and create. You can see our validation passed here, so no issues with the options that we chose. And we can create. And this will take a minute or two or three to deploy. So we'll come back when it's ready. Okay, and you can see we got a notification here saying it's done and we can go to resource. Okay, so here's our VM. You can see it's running. It is in the resource group that we wanted to, manual deployment two. You can also see the specs here, so 2019, and also the size is standard B1S with the one CPU and one gig of RAM. So let's see what else we have in the resource group here that was part of the manual deployment. So we have the VM itself, a, an NSG, a network interface or NIC, a VNet, and the OS disk for the VM. So now that we've done this manually, let's go to the Terraform and see how it's different. Okay, so we're here in the Terraform. Uh, this is copied straight from the Terraform registry. If you just search for Windows VM, you'll find all this here. So starting at the top, we have the required provider block saying we want to deploy to Azure. Then we have a resource group where we give the name and location. And then we have a VNet, a subnet, a network interface with a few settings there, and the virtual machine itself. And you can see in the virtual machine, we have the uh, size that we mentioned earlier, the username and password.
And then we also connect the NIC there that we referenced above. You can see we also have the OS disk and just referencing the source image, that's that 2019 data center version of Windows. So one thing I wanna point out here is how we reference the location in all of these other resource calls. In resource group, we, get, we provide a name and location, Windows, VM, RG, and East US. And then in all of these other locations, we just reference that location. So Azure RM resource group dot example dot location, and the same thing with name. That way it just reduces some of the repetitiveness and we don't have to type that and we can just write it once and then reference it in all of our other resource calls. But yeah, all that looks good. So we can go ahead and run it. Start with a Terraform init. And actually I should have run an AZ login first. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see I'm already signed in here. So it's really quick. And there you can see our Azure subscription one, which is where we deployed manually. Let's go ahead and run a plan. And you can see the plan is complete, so it's gonna deploy five resources. So we have the network interface, the resource group, the subnet, the virtual network, and the virtual machine. And just comparing that to what we did manually, very similar. I think the only difference here is the NSG, and that's just because I forgot to uncheck an option. If everything looks good there with the plan, we can run a Terraform apply. And I'm just gonna add an auto approve here so I don't have to type yes in a second. So we will let this run and we will jump back as soon as it's done deploying. And there we go, you can see it deployed five resources. So let's go check it out in the portal. Okay, so let's go back to our subscription resource group. And there we see it, Windows VM RG. That's the one we deployed through Terraform. And you can see example machine there, that's our virtual machine. We have an OS disk, a VNet, and a NIC. So very similar to what we deployed manually. I think the only difference here was that NSG that I forgot to uncheck before. So you can see that our VM is running, same settings as the manual deployment 2019 and standard V1S. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, just wanted to show you guys how to deploy a VM in Terraform. Again, check out Terraform registry for this code. It's also gonna be on my GitHub. But I just wanted to show you how easy it was to deploy in Terraform and the main thing here is it's repeatable. So deploying one VM is not that hard manually in the portal, but if you're deploying 50 or 100, it's just much easier to manage in Terraform and fewer mistakes. So you may have a typo here and there, but you're not gonna have 50 different VMs. They're all gonna be standardized. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.